Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to the presentation of the text-based healthcare chatbot supporting admitted patients project which was undertaken by Omdena Hyderabad India chapter. So first question why the need of a chatbot in healthcare? So often we have seen that patients and uh, their family members experience anxiety and nervousness while waiting for the answers from the doctor and medical staff. Now there could be many reasons for the delayed responses. For example, in COVID pandemic, we experienced shortages of medical staff, medical supplies, and uh, we have seen patients agony because we have seen delays in the treatments and difficulty to attend each patient. So with this chatbot, we, our aim was to provide sustainable healthcare solution that could benefit not only patients, but also doctors, clinics, hospitals, uh, health centers and administrative authorities as well. So the project was finished within a timeline of four weeks, which involved tasks like uh, data collection and processing, sentiment analysis, visualization and dashboard, and chatbot modeling and deployment. So let's talk about the web scraping for the chatbot database. So in this database, we have selected some of the medical institutions and authorities and their websites uh, online. And we have tried to uh, collect the data about six diseases, particularly as shown here. And uh, we divided the data among the different age groups. Then we have uh, even by the gender. So we also wanted to analyze the data uh, about the uh, treatments and uh, hospitalization experience from the patients and users so we decided to collect the Twitter data um, as you can see on the left side there is the raw data and the right side the, those are the clean tweets uh, in order to uh, differentiate and classify the tweets we decided to include some few keywords like uh, which would include the treatment uh, medical supplies or medical staff experience in even hospitalizations even bills so these kinds of words, keywords were used to uh, differentiate and clean the tweets. Talking about the sentiment analysis on this collected data, we observed that most of the data was irrelevant based on the collection. Uh, there were among, uh, around 23,000 of the tweets that were relevant data. Uh, among that, uh, most of the data was of the neutral category because uh, it is, as, as can be seen in most of the hospitalizations, it's more uh, of a positive or maybe a neutral uh, sentiments that we want uh, patients to get well soon. So, uh, and then the below images show the word cloud of all the three different categories uh, of the positive tweets, negative tweets, and the neutral tweets. Then when we talk about the disease data and sentiment analysis, we also wanted to make a dashboard so that even other users can visualize this data. Uh, one of the uh, good advantages that we can uh, scale it based on the uh, amount of the data and uh, there are also different attributes so that the patient or user can deep dive into those uh, analysis of the data. As for the future scope, we can also work on appointment booking preliminary uh, details form filling expansion of the database so that we can include uh, more diseases uh, than just the six of the diseases that we have and also building up a good ux ui experience for the customers and users a uh, production map ro roadmap would look something like this where the first step would be uh, determining the scope and problem uh, for a particular clinic or a hospital and then trying to collect the relevant data and train the model initial modeling after initial testing phase we will see where are the where are the there is room for the improvement and based on that there will be relevant changes and then there will be full implementation uh, the last step would be to uh, focus on the continuous improvement and the future scaling this is our dashboard visualization uh, this was divided into two categories mainly one which shows health conditions the other one which shows the sentiment analysis on the twitter data so in the health condition you can basically select among uh, among the six diseases that we have collected the data from uh, and then you can uh, know more about the diagnosis facts uh, and meets uh, treatment expenses and other related information about that particular disease and then going to the sentiment analysis uh, tab, we can we can see that most of the tweets are belonging to the neutral category, and then we can also visualize that uh, the keywords that had 
that were the maximum in the tweets were belonging to the emergency care and medical facilities so the most of the tweets were belonging to these categories uh, we can also use the drop down menu and see the word cloud of the belonging uh, categories of the uh, now we'll see the demonstration of the chatbot